Hi, Mark Savage here, and welcome to my channel. In today's video, a Prius SR50. This is a 2018 model. Now, there's a few videos on my channel of this. I seem to say that all the time. I did not like these. This is a carburetor version, and not the Diatek engines, which had the injection, had major problems with the injection, the CDI system, they had a fault finding bit on here. Oh God, it was just horrid. I had a couple of five of them. I did not like them. However, when running, they are fast little bikes. They really are fast 50 mile an hour bikes, easy. What's wrong with this one? Well, it's not actually mine. It's a friend of mine who's asked me a massive favor. Can I fix it for him? The little bits that are wrong. And as I owe him a few favors, I said, yes. A quick look around this little ped. Front end, very nice, NRG, SR, all the same sort of thing. Nice seating position. Little 50cc engine in there. That little bit you've just seen ping there is what's holding the stand up. That's one of the things I was going to get to in a minute. But all in, these are very nice looking bikes. From the front end, it's got a nice commanding look compared to the... Yeah, the little direct bike and the Harris and the Speed Fight 3 and the Speed Fight. Oh, yeah, I've got too many. I know. But these are all videos that are coming up. Or all have been done, depending where, <laughs> depending, depending where I place them out. I mean, you notice the Speed Fight's there. This has come in, so I'm doing this before the Speed Fight and releasing it after the Speed Fight. Look, they're just coming out. What is wrong else? Well... Except the front fairing panel keeps coming off, so I've already put little clips in there, which you can see, and I've got two screws to go in there. The reason why, I don't know why they did this. This panel covers the water, but the two tea oil, so you regularly have to take it off. So I've put two new clips on there, I'm just about to put the two screws back in, and that will go back on very nicely. Bolts here, well, the mirrors, he says, goes on, but they loosen, it's not going in enough. I could get longer bolts, but it's not really going to help. These are the mirrors, very nice indeed. But can you see the bottom bit? So, I'm going to be grinding these down, and that will give me an extra 5mm that then will go on nicely and be able to tighten them up. Job done. Two jobs down. Stand not so easy. There's a bolt missing underneath here. I think it's either fallen out or whatever, so that's just dangling. I need to find a bolt that's at least eight inches long to go through there and tighten it up. Missing kickstart, he doesn't really care about that. And then the major issue, it's nice having a carburetor in there, which you can see. So he gave me a list of things to do and then took the list with him. I'm pretty sure he did, because I can't find it. Luckily, I've got good memory, I think. <laughs> One, two, nice and easy. The stand, again, if I've got the bolt, I can do it. If not, it's gonna be a bugger. Also, Rear brake doesn't work. Now what it means is that you won't be able to start it with the driver's side or right hand side brake. Oh, I said driver's side, just to the right. Which is odd, we've got American truck and I drive to the left. Anyway, offside. These, these are your micro switches. They don't just, annoyingly, make the brake light go on and off. Okay, so the lever's in which means that it's off, lever comes out, when you pull it, it goes out again. Fun little things. You can take them apart. I don't suggest you do that. These ones don't look like they come apart of all at all. Speed, personal speed fights you can. But you can WD loads in there and keep going and you may get it to work. If not, 495, you're going to have to get another one. But what it also does, when you pull it in, it allows you to start the bike. This means it's got to do it with the left hand all the time rather than the right hand. Plus the fact it's dangerous, you know, you've got to have your brakes working. So that's another fault. Should be an easy one. If I can't do that, just got to buy another one. Now, I've said in many, many, many of my videos, and I really can't say it enough. Pull away, bogging down. It's person's classification, definition, whatever you want to call it, of what they think when they say this. So the person said, secondhand someone else, that it bogs down when you pull away. That could mean to me it's actually slow pull away, which isn't necessarily the carburetor, but the rollers. And if the rollers are square, they're not moving out, which means, or not coming back in again, which means you're pulling away in second gear. So I'm actually going to do both. I'm going to take the carburetor apart, cleaning that, and I'm also going to take the, the variator system off, and then make sure the rollers are clean if they're flat spotted, get new ones of them. So it's a double sort of thing here. Now, I did have 
a service code indicator on one of my videos. I'm actually have to watch my own video to see what it was. It worked on a Diatech, I don't know if it worked on this. So I'm going to get on with these now and do the front panel, which is just two screws. Now I put the covers in. Um, I'm going to check to see if I can do this one. I'm going to grind down a little bit to the mirrors and do all the jobs, and you can stay with me as I do them. Coming up. So we're just literally spraying it, pressing it in, spraying it, and pressing it in. It may, it may not work. But for 4 95 worth a go, isn't it? Can't go wrong with these. Just keep pushing it in, wiggling it around. I might get a pair of mold grips, three if I can twist it at all. See how it goes. Anyway, let's get the grinder going, let's grind them mirrors down. <laughs> I found a plug and pulled it, think it was just nothing in. What the hell? <laughs> I've got far too much crap in my garage. That's my own fault. Someone here is the connector to it. Come on, out you come. Oh, we're getting the. Uh, uh, oh, hello. I'm also going to be getting whoop, the battery out and charge that, like I say. Go down really quickly. Leave me to do this in a minute. So the micro switch is knackered, won't do anything, spins round, doesn't come apart. But these are the two wires here, and if you just touch them, the backlight comes on. That's how I know there's power. So touching, backlight on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off. That. That's all it does. On and off, on and off. Nice and easy. So I fitted a new spring on this side, but the hole should be like round and that oblong. So basically it is knackered and it needs a new stand. There's nothing you can do to it, unfortunately. I don't like the idea of a bungee rope holding it in, but it is the only thing you can do with a stand at present. I mean, it hasn't got a side stand. Anyway, get into the battery. Nice and simple, we're gonna stick that on charge. Now we're gonna work on the variator. Remember what I said? Go from one point, put that down as number one, and then do the next one. A lot of these are different sizes. And if you get the wrong one in the wrong place, it'll be sticking out. You think you've got to push it in some more, and it turns out that it isn't right, and you've knackered the back up. So, there you go. That's what I do. Let me be with this. I'll get the whole lot off, and you'll come back in a second. Oh, flipping hell. Oh. Ah, hello, dog. Yes, yes. Well, a bit of loving. Here's the thing about working on these bikes. Some of the bolts are notoriously bloody hard to get off. Um, you will snap some. I've snapped a couple. Um, okay, love, yes. But to get the rest of the bolts off... Hello. To get the bolts off, lashes WD-40 and you know, an extra long screwdriver, no matter what I tried this a minute ago, it wouldn't do anything. So I'm happy to say that I can get that off now. Um, you know, but you've got to do it to have a look and see what things are like. Turns out that's actually quite clean, not bad at all. Didn't need to take it off, probably not, but I did anyway. Next, take this off, have a look at the rollers, then I can tick them off and say they're done. What I'm trying to say really is you can't cut corners. Had to check that, nice and clean. I know that when I give it back, I can say that I checked the air filter, I checked the variator, you know, bloody bloody. I may not be able to fix a stand, but I can say to him that I did the right checks on the right things, and it's safe to ride, you know. So there you go. That will go back on nicely, and I can say that's another one ticked off. I've ordered the micro switch, jolly good. Let's get that back on, and. Uh, Cross that one off the lift. Let's get on with the uh, variator. Belt okay. Bit of dust, you know. Not too bad, if I'm honest with you. I'm just gonna get a row, take that one off. Have a look at the rollers. Clutch is good, and then I can put all this back on. Um, job done. I might spray it up a little bit in there as well. Now, in all my other videos, 
I've always said claw hammer, big um, socket that I had, big arm to take it off. This is, is just wonderful. Hold it on there. And in seconds, bolts off, happy days. And now you can just remember what you took off first. So there's the kick plate, obviously, front of the variator. We can get the belt off, and then we can take this out here. Clean this all up, set it time and time again. No grease, no oil, nothing. Okay, and in here are the rollers. And oh my God, look at them. Flat spotted. Completely flat spotted. See that? That's no good to nobody. I was in the F1 the other day and uh, they were saying that when they lock up um, these will always find the same place to flat spot. I mean you can see that. They are no good to nobody. Alright? No good. They are throwaways. And this is what he was getting when he was pulling away. They're just not doing their job. So it may not be anything to do with the carburetor whatsoever. We are going to give it a clean because I've got all this bit off anyway. But there you go. They were Molossi. And this could be just honestly not cleaning that out. You know, really good clean out. Put it all back again. This sticking, clean it out of a dry rag. Should be lovely. Um, I've used a bit of emery before just to make sure that it's really clean. Wiped it all out. But there you go. Simple as that. This is what I believe he's bogging down was does make you think get this sorted put new ones on there and you leave your carburetor but you're here aren't you you know that's already off now you might as well just undo that pop the things off take the carburetor turn it upside down blow the jets out put it back in again job done you're there you know like doing the effort or doing this you might have thought oh, i'm sure it'll be all right but it's not completely flat spotted throw them away i used to do the old ones i just chuck them behind my shoulder but um Micro shits, micro shits. <laughs> micro switch is ordered. Um, there are nine quid. Found a company. Two days delivery. Now I've said this before about the carburetor. Now I've done videos on the carburetor. Just type in Mark Savage carburetor, and they all come out. Had to clean them. So I've just cleaned this. I'm popping it back in now. Um, done the old choke. But this I've mentioned many, many times. It's something a lot of people get wrong. It only goes in one way. There's a stop, and there's the slide. If when you're pulling it in and it sort of goes down and you have to push the spring down rather than it going all the way down, you go the wrong way. And what happens then if you start it goes red stupidly and people go, I've done I've done wrong. Take it out, turn it around, put it in the other way. It's simple. Anyway, that's a lot cleaner now. I can't say there's anything wrong with it. Um, I blew it through, both jets took out, blew it through, nothing. But generally that's all it might need. You can't see the crap that's in the bottom of the bowl, etc. So yeah, I'm just going to pop that back in now. And then I've got to wait. Order the rollers and order the micro switch. I'm not ordering the stands. I'll get it all back on. Um, so the next bit you'll see is when I've got them in my hand. So I'm going to start on the other projects now for the other videos. And this will have to sit up for a couple of three days. I've ordered from Euro Scooter Parts. They're brilliant. Um, and generally, I've ordered them before. And they've come next day, which is bloody amazing. But the micro switch is supposed to be a Friday, so I'll do it all Friday. So... My little uh, brake switch came, simple, wind it in, don't fit the connectors first and wind it in, you're just going to mess up your wires. I know it's a bit more difficult, but wind it in, then connect the wires, and then what you should get then, if you look back here, is brake light working on both sides now. And that means it will start on both sides. Remember, it doesn't just do your back light, it does your start as well, because you have to have the brake pulled in to electric start it. Rollers, six grams, I've said that in so many of my videos. These were coming out, I did weigh these, because of the flat spot coming out about five and a half. But, you know, what causes this? So what causes this? It's your belt. Your belt, as it goes round, sprays the dust everywhere. It gets in here, it gets in them there, you know, clean them out. Now when I first got this, and I shot it a few minutes ago and realised it wasn't recording, grrr, um, this didn't go through properly, it was, it was sticking, but now that's lovely, look at that. That means it's going to go up and down perfectly. So that was sticking, so that was sticking. There was belt dust everywhere in here as well. So now it's going to pull away a lot, lot better. Now I did clean the carburetor, I cleaned the jets out, and I cleaned the plug as well. So 
I know is this, if this is not moving in and out properly, you're like pulling away in second gear rather than first. It's not fully closed and it wasn't fully opening. So this guy now should get a lot more top end and you should get much better pull away. But yes, I cleaned the carburetor as well. Do you know what, while you're there, you might as well do it. If this is your own bike, you know, well, I'll do half the job. It's minimal tools, a little bit of know-how, just for watching my videos. It's gonna help, isn't it? These are nice, these are. Feel nice as well. And there we go. Nicely plotted in there. They spin around really nicely. The cover. And again, this is belt dust. Look at that. Clean mag. And this has to be clean. Okay? Because it just spins around everywhere. Dirty. Just give it a good old clean. Get in there. Get all the slidey bits clean as well. Anyway. I'm going to clean this from an inch of its life and then I'm going to get down there and fit it and we should have a starting bike, better starting, better riding. So again, I can't express, just clean, remember brake, oh god, now I can't express enough, remember clean, it's belt dust, doesn't hurt, this is your Bendix, this is what kicks out to start your bike, okay, it just kicks out that way onto the outer ring and away you go. It's all dust in there. <coughs> Giving it a good old clean just means it'll be happier when it starts. Give the shaft a little wipe over. I'm just gonna go up and down that. Do you know, yes you're gonna use a lot of rags, but hey the performance and the benefits of this outweigh it all, don't they? Oh look. This doesn't come off on these ones, it just comes out of alignment, it's not for that. I know I say take them out of speed fights and I've always said about that, but not in this case. Right, so, nice and easy, he says, get the shaft on there, there we go, perfect, on goes your belt, if you can't get the belt on, just squeeze your clutch, just a little bit, and there you go, your belt's on now. Now, told you to keep it that way. Give it a wipe over, look. You know, it does all help. Make sure there's no nicks in this. Get any little nicks in there, and what it will do, it will tear it apart. This little fan does get hot in there, you know. And again, if you're taking it too much apart, just take photographs, and it'll all make sense when you try and put it all back together again. Okay, said it many times before. Take photographs. That goes on like that, pushes on there, and we've got the nut to go on there. Now, I've said before in my videos, use the old uh, claw, but if you've got an impact driver, it just makes life a lot easier. If you've got the right nut, which I haven't, it is such a limited amount of tools. You know, you, you don't need loads. Make sure it's the right way. And... That is now on there, that's not going nowhere. So, we kept all the bolts. Oh, no roller. That's not a new one, by the way. <laughs> Shows how bad they were, flat spotted. These are for the air box that we're gonna put on afterwards. Now, I did snap two. It's always gonna happen. Do you know? I suppose that's why they put so many bloody on there. Now, what I will do, that's a kickstart. I will clean it all up, but guess what? It's not there. That's the other side of the Bendix that clicks onto the outer bit here when the kickstart works. But it doesn't work, so it's not needed on there. Now, I am going to, I'm going to give all these a little spray, just before I put them back in. So the next time someone else has to do the job that I've just done, they're just gonna be, you know, a bit easier to get out. All of them were the same size. I know I should make a pattern out of them, but it turned out all to be the same size. So I just marinate, yes, cooking terms. Marinate these screws with a bit of WD-14 rather than using GT85, maintenance spray. Just pretend I didn't drop that. Right, let's move the uh, <laughs> improvised stand. Oh, just, it's a bit mental, that is. 
Not seen one do that before, but there you go. Right, so you're just going to tap that back on. You know you've got it all right. And there we go. And then just start back through again, getting all these on nicely. Except the broken ones. As I said, I broke two. I know I did. Not a lot you can do out there, to be honest with you. It's worth a go, but it does happen. So what am I doing? It's all off again. What's wrong with it? And this is why I say you've got to do things again and again and again. There's a rattle. Could be the bend it, could be the kickstart mechanism. Let's have a listen. It's not right. So it all has to come off. Just be prepared, you know? I put this on by the way, I was ready to go wee down the road and I'm thinking, well that doesn't sound like it did before. And there you go. So I'm glad now that I sprayed these up. <coughs> bit bit smoky in it. <coughs> Forgot what two tea tastes like. It's it's rich. Anyway, leave me to do this. I'll uh, show you what it was in a second. Oh, I'm suffocating. Where's my cup of tea? I forgot how high this is. <laughs> I forgot how nice it is to work on two teas. You know, they're lots of fun, lots of smoke, lots of star, lots of <laughs> Believe you me, this launches, absolutely launches. Yeah, enough of that. <laughs> That's what you call six grand rollers, cleaning the variator, cleaning it all, cleaning the plug, if it was good as gold. It does need 2T oil under here, I hope he knows that. That's why the screws were not there in the first place. But job done, except the stand. Um, that's just a job I'm not doing, but the brake lights work, all the bits, the other bits that we're asked to do, and a bit more to be honest with you. Happy days, you'd really, really enjoy riding this little bike now. Just move them so we can see behind him now, because all motorcyclists should look behind you. They should. Right, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. A few more. Bye bye. I think we might go on the road on this. Pulled better fast, it pulled the uh, carpet tiles off. <laughs> He's gonna be well happy. Well, except the stupid stand. <laughs>